All right, so this is the Richelieu bike rack that you get at Costco. I think they're about $45, and each each set fits four bikes, right? So four bikes for $45, pretty cheap. Really thought this would be a good idea. I first mounted the kids' bikes um, and found it was gonna be impossible for them to load them. I, I was fine loading them, but then I decided I'd load up my bike and see how that works. see already the hook's kind of in the way when you go up to place it and then I was finding every time I loaded it I then had to come up here and fix the position of the hook and then that happens it just always flops off to the other side. You notice, um, it's almost like the, the bike tires are too big for that. You notice I didn't mount the thing on the bottom because I'm not bothering with this anymore. Um, yeah, just it's completely unstable. And then even if, let's say, if it stayed in the right spot, if it stayed in the right spot for me, then when I go to take it off, then it kind of... Oh, well, that's not actually bad. Still. Not as easy, even like, if I get it up into place. Let's just pretend it stays where I want. And then I want to rotate it off to the side. You can hear my tires just rubbing in like crazy. It's just messy to try and get the bikes out of the way. So another major issue I noticed with this Richelieu rack is the fact that even once I get my bike on there, like this is, it's just hook on clip. So it's, I mean, you can see that it doesn't stay super well. I mean, with the weight of the bike, it's gonna stay. But when I was loading the bikes and unloading them, I found they would slip around, right? You can just slide them around. Oh, which could be nice if you don't need to reposition, but it'd be nice if that gripped better. You pull it out, slide it over, push it down, but they actually slide without pulling. So um, I found mounting the kids' bikes when I was doing them over here. Um, I'd try and load a bike, and because I had to actually grab the hook and slide it through, um, they were actually sl slipping around all over the place while I was doing it. So, uh, steady rack, even though it's quite a bit more expensive, these are, these ones were $104 Canadian per thing. Um, they're definitely worth it. Then over on, all right. Then over on this side, I've got the steady racks that I mounted up for the kids. So, literally, moves back and forth super easily. You're not hearing the tires rubbing at all. If I want to get it all the way over to this side, I bring the bottom tire over. And then I can take it pretty much all the way up against the wall. So 160 degree rotation, and then just take it off. It's super easy, right? Um, so I will show you my daughter doing it. Okay, so this is my eight-year-old daughter. Um, you'll see she comes over and she moves her brother's bike out of the way. And then she just walks over to her bike and pulls it straight off. And so this is probably her first or second time doing this. Um, but you'll see when she goes to put it back on, she's trying to lift the bike a little bit. Um, she doesn't actually have to lift, she just pushes it and it goes on a lot easier. Um, but that's really about it. Super easy. Um, way better bike rack.